In this video, we'll discuss how to answer questions involving saturated solutions. Question 1 reads, at 20 degrees Celsius, the solubility of potassium chloride is 34 grams per 100 grams of water. In the laboratory, a student mixes 75 grams of potassium chloride with 200 grams of water at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. How much of the potassium chloride will dissolve? This is a simple problem. I mean, take a look. We are told that 34 grams per 100 grams of water will dissolve. This one, on the other hand, is 75. And 75 exceeds double of 34. Think about it. If we took 34 grams per 100 grams of water and we multiplied it to 200 grams of water, and we're placing a dot here to signify that all three of these numbers are significant, the grams of water, this is grams of water, and this is grams of water, the units here will cancel out. So what we end up with is 34 times 200 divided by 100, and that's 68. 68 grams of potassium chloride can dissolve in 200 grams of water, except here we have 75 grams. So it's exceeded by 7 grams. How much of the calcium chloride will dissolve? Well, only 68 grams will dissolve, leaving you with 7 that won't. Is the solution saturated or unsaturated? It has to be saturated because all of the potassium chloride that could potentially dissolve has dissolved and there's extra remaining. In fact, there should be at the bottom of the measuring apparatus extra potassium chloride. So there will be traces of pure potassium chloride in this solution that can still be dissolved if more water is added. What is the mass in grams of any solid potassium chloride left undissolved at the bottom of the container? As mentioned, 7 grams. Moving on to question 2, at 40 degrees Celsius, the solubility of potassium nitrate is 65 grams per 100 grams of water. How many grams of potassium nitrate will dissolve in 120 grams of water at 40 degrees? So once again, I'll take 65 grams per 100 grams of water and multiply that to 120 grams of water. And we do this calculation really quickly, 65 times 120 divided by 100 gives us 78. So 78 grams of potassium nitrate will dissolve in 120 grams of water. And that's the extent of it. And make sure that the numbers are correct to the correct number of significant figures. We have two here and two at the least here. So we're good. If you have any other questions, please leave us a comment below. And thanks for watching.